Hello guys and welcome back to the SketchUp plugin reviews series. In today's episode I'll introduce you to yet another three completely free of charge plugins for SketchUp so let's get right into it. First extension, Memory Copy by Adam Billiard. So with this plugin you get to repeat the same transformation of a copied component as many times as you like. So what does this mean exactly? It's easier to show than to explain. Let's say you have a component, then you copy it, transform the copy as much as you like. You can scale it, move it and rotate it. So when you're done, right click on the first component, select play it again and click on the copy as many times as you like. Every new click will create a new copy with the same transformations as the first one, but all the transformations are based on the copy before the last one. As you can see, you can create all kinds of weird shapes, but the most common everyday use of this tool is creating circular stairs. You just need to position the first copy and all the others are just a couple of clicks away. Second extension, Helix Along Curve by 3D Albert Soft. This plugin does exactly what you would expect from it. It creates helixes, the huh. But it has so many different options that it's worth talking about it a bit more. So after you select an edge or a curve, you need to click on the tool to get to this dialog box. Radius 1 value will be the size of the helix radius at the start and the radius 2 value will be the size of it at the end. Laps is the number of how many times you want the helix to swirl around your curve. Sections per lap is the number of segments each lap will be made of. Phase value in degrees is the rotation of the helix itself as if I was to rotate it using the curve as the axis of rotation. Noise value sets the random variation of the radius value, zero being no variation at all and one being maximum variation. Adherence to the curve sets the value for smoothing of the shape of the helix, zero meaning maximum and four meaning no smoothing at all. Calculation mode C will probably work for all the cases, but if you get some strange results, you can try different modes. Direction of rotation is self-explanatory. And lastly, we've got the option to create a helix tube instead of a helix path. You set the radius of the tube here and the number of segments here. And there you have it. Last bonus hidden feature is that you can create a tube around the curve instead of a helix. You just need to set both radiuses to zero. Done. Third extension, Random Tools by Alex Schreier. This is a set of tools that helps you to randomize various things in your scene. Object placement, rotation and scale, face extrusion, vertex location, even texture placement. Let's go over them real quick. This one randomly push-pulls faces. You can set the maximum and minimum amount here. This next one randomly moves vertices on all three axes. Just like the other one, you get to choose how much. This one randomly places objects on ungrouped faces. You first need to select the faces and a component or group, then activate the tool and set the maximum number of copies per face, maximum rotation, scale variation factor, zero being no variation in scale at all, set the orientation, whether you want it perpendicular on the face or straight up, and select the layer or tag as SketchUp likes to call layers these days. This one does the exact same thing as the last one but places the objects on edges instead of faces. Let's go with the normal orientation this time around. This next one here randomizes objects rotation, position and scale. As before you get to choose the amount. This one here with just one click 
randomly swaps selected components. Cool, huh? And this last one is my personal favorite. This one randomly changes the placement of the texture in your identical objects. Look how boring and unrealistic this looks. Well, check this one out. How cool is this? You need to keep in mind though that this works only with groups and not components, but we can't have everything. Let's not get greedy. Alright guys, uh, that's it for our 6th episode of the series. You can find the link to the other episodes in the description. I will repeat myself yet again for those who are new to the channel. Go watch the first one if you don't know how to install these plugins into SketchUp. Let me know in the comments if there is a plugin you'd like to see me check out. Please don't forget to hit like and if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button before you go. And I will see you in the next one. Hasta la vista, muchachos.